My name is Randy Kaiser and we operate Three Nail Ironware. We uh, specialize in carbon steel cookware. It started out as kind of on a whim. My wife had graduated from college and she told me you can either go back to school or you can start your own business, you can do whatever you want. And so I started looking into blacksmithing. And the great thing is it's an old process and so there was lots of information on it. And so I started working, doing architectural stuff. And so after 25 years, I started getting tired of that. And so I started looking for something that I could do, you know, that you can make locally and send it out. And so I was looking around in the internet and saw some people making skillets. I don't think anybody here in this area was making anything like that. So that was unique and it kind of uh, fit a niche. My wife, Margie, I asked her, I said, if I make this, can you sell it? She said, well, yeah, I think so. And, and so that brought her into the family business. We wouldn't have what we have now if it wasn't for her. Her customer service, the way she responds to people, and the way she interacts with people is so unique and it's so kind. We were having to come up with a new name for the companies. And so while we were driving in, the name Three Nail Ironware came to mind. And we're Christians, and that's, that, was, that was kind of the genesis of it, is people would ask, well, where did Three Nail Ironware come from? And so it opens up a conversation that way. There's a young lady that her name was uh, Iffy, and she worked for the San Angelo Standard Times. She came out and she interviewed me and took pictures and everything, and it ends up on the front page of the Standard Times. That story ended up getting picked up on the AP and it went nationwide. It was in papers coast to coast. The Texas Country Reporter came down to do an interview, and after that aired, the exposure has just really been phenomenal. I never imagined James, you know, my son, coming back to work in the shop. To have him back in the shop and be part of the shop, man, that's such a blessing. That is, that is truly phenomenal. We really get along well. As I was younger, I'd always take for granted working with my father. Uh, it was just like something to do. I, I just worked and helped out my dad. But there is a really interesting aspect, a very neat aspect to working with your father or working with your grandfather or working with somebody who is your family and older than you. It does carry that generational aspect, much like our pans. We make these pans that last lifetimes. The skill is carrying on through lifetimes, through my father and to me. It's a lot of fun to uh, be able to do all this with my wife in the office and then James helping and the blessing to be able to make a living and do it this way is just truly phenomenal.